Hey guys, this is RD Techie, and in today's video, I would like to talk about a huge story that's trending today about Tencent, ByteDance, TikTok, and the US government. I'll catch you all on the other side of the intro. So I woke up and saw the news that Trump has uh, signed an executive order banning financial transactions with ByteDance, the owners of TikTok. Honestly, not too surprised because they've been on this path for a while with uh, Trump wanting to ban TikTok and there are being rumors about Microsoft trying to buy it, blah, blah, blah. Not going to get into all that because uh, it's honestly, this video is not about TikTok or the ban or ByteDance. But he's also banning financial transactions by two words, WeChat's controlling interest company or owners, Tencent. Now, this set off alarm bells across the world because Tencent is a huge name, not just in gaming, but also in technology. I mean, they have stake in Tesla for crying out loud. So this sent out a huge alarm bell and people start uh, panicking, saying uh, Trump is going to ban a Fortnite effectively really Fortnite Unreal Engine really uh, games made with Unreal Engine perhaps as well because you do get you do need to pay Unreal something when you break a threshold so that is a financial transaction with a company that is uh, has investment from Tencent so that was the initial reaction I dug a little deeper into this and I found that it kind of does state that it is uh, Trump is banning WeChat related financial transactions with Tencent. So it's not saying completely outright, no longer Tencent, uh, no longer welcome. But the key here is they also states with Tencent's subsidiaries. So and its subsidiaries, they're saying. So it's kind of ambiguous. Now, they don't know if it means WeChat related transaction with Tencent and WeChat subsidiaries or WeChat related transaction with Tencent and its subsidiaries, but only for WeChat related transactions or just outright ban on Tencent and financial transactions. Now, if we look at the gaming industry, Epic Games, 40% owned by Tencent. Paradox. Huge amount. Uh, you have uh, Riot Games, 100%, I believe. I'm, I think it's completely owned by Tencent. So, and then let's think about games that are made from with Unreal Engine, because down the line, if you do have to pay Unreal uh, for using their engine, which is free to use for up to a threshold, the, the numbers escape me, but that is the deal. So at that point, you are entering into a financial agreement with Tencent through Epic and Unreal Engine. So that is another aspect. Now let's think a little more broader aspect. We have, forget about uh, Epic, we have Activision Blizzard. So there's just so many uh, games and companies being affected by this. And this sent out serious alarm bells. But I think the key is, to me at least, what it seemed like is that it's WeChat related financial transactions because they're, they're mostly combating WeChat's financial transactions. So I don't think the ban will come to a point where we expect and we fear of uh, Unreal Engine, um, the Epic Game Store, Epic Creators getting paid from uh, the Epic Creator program. I don't think we're gonna reach that point because it is as, huge as it is a political and security concern with the WeChat being uh, apparently it was quoted as saying um, the Communist Party is getting information on our Americans and uh, TikTok having various uh, security concerns being outed by lots of people, not just the US. Um, but this is not a video about ByteDance or TikTok. ByteDance, it seems like a very straightforward ban on ByteDance financial transaction by Trump. Whereas when it comes to Tencent, the language used is quite ambiguous. And I think in that ambiguity is what uh, we're going to have to wait and see. Now, there is a chance that when after this 45 
uh, day period when it comes to the signing they just go all 10 cent transactions are now banned there is a possibility of that but i think that is going to be like a worst case situation i think what we're going to be facing with is wechat related transactions and i think they're going to stay stressed on that and TikTok and ByteDance. And I think that is the idea behind this executive order. Now, I don't know uh, how the other things work in this situation. I'm not an expert on legislature or the law, especially of the United States. Uh, but I believe this is probably going to be uh, appealed in high, uh, in the courts. I don't know if uh, you guys work with the high court, Supreme Court system. I don't know, but it would I would be surprised if it doesn't go up to an appeal and get challenged. But that is where it stands. What did you guys think? Are you worried that the gaming company and the gaming industry really is going to take a massive hit from it? One point I will mention is that Tencent did take a massive hit on it. The stock price of Tencent fell, like dr dropped right i had to make the sound effect but it really dropped quite a bit now uh i'm gonna be linking these articles but uh the main article that uh you know i just wanted to know just uh, that you know that 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 gives you a list of just a glancing list of companies that they have uh, own you know and look at that majority ownership on mini clip grinding gear games 80 percent riot i believe is 100 percent i'm not sure I think it's 100%, which is League of Legends, I, I think, right? Uh, I'm not a, a League of Legends player, but I think so. And Paradox and Ubisoft, Activision Blizzard, these are all big, big names with multiple titles employing hundreds and thousands of people. We also have, look at that, Tesla, Snap, Ola, which is an Indian one. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, I did not know that Tencent had it, but these are all companies that Tencent has its hands on so it's it, Tencent is a company with a lot of fingers and a lot of pies so I don't think an outright ban on any financial transactions with that massive company will be possible to do with an economic situation as it is currently uh, video games probably still one of the few profit-making industries during the pandemic so I don't think it's gonna work but I saw some reactions on uh, this article, and this is the one that I really went to. This is the Unreal Engine is one of the most widely used. So if you use Unreal Engine, you're now then doing business with Tencent. Whether you believe you are or not, you are, because Epic is owned 40% by Tencent. So it, does that stop you from selling your game? I don't know. See, it, it's that kind of an ambiguity that this law works on. But I completely think that it is definitely going to be a case of WeChat related financial transactions being banned by the US. And that is in 45 days, the order goes into effect. But that is just my thoughts. What do you guys think uh, about this whole thing? Do you think it's actually going to lead to the apocalypse of the video game industry? Or do you think um trump will get challenged and taken down for this order let me know in the comments uh i'm not a uh news i'm not a journalist by any means i uh but this video this this there was a lot of information for this sp particular act and like i said i have no idea how law and legislation works in the u.s so if you guys know how it works please let me know as well i would love to hear from you but that's it what do you guys think uh are we gonna see video game companies get into trouble for this or are we gonna see it be more focused on wechat which honestly i think is gonna be the case but let me know in the comments that's it for this video this is already techie hope you're having a fantastic day stay home stay safe stay healthy wash your hands and uh yeah <laughs> that's it also want to say a massive thanks to all the support on youtube if you're new and you haven't subbed hit that button and uh subscribe but i'll see you guys in the next video this is already techie saying goodbye see you later